John Slade. Hey, where the hell are you? A truck stop. Interstate 12. At a place called Rio Puerco. I know right where you are. Wait there. We'll be by to pick you up in half an hour sharp. Okay with you? I'll be ready. John! Yeah. You rode part way here in a boxcar, am I right? How bad do you look? How bad do you want me to look? Getting yourself cleaned up. You're about to meet a millionaire. Can I help you? Don't mess up the stock, all right? People are always coming in here, rifling through the stock, never intending to buy. You do have money. say that you weren't going to pay. I got 10, 12 people through here every day trying to shoplift what they want. I wouldn't believe what the country's coming to. Thank you. Come again. Look, do you got a place I could wash up? I'm sorry, the, the restroom's out of order. I just need a shave. Well, I do have a washroom in the building next door. I... I guess you can use that. Thanks. It's pretty dirty in there. I haven't been in there for years. But I think the water still works. That's all I need. That's all you're gonna get. Oh, 
bullshit scheme. Well, at least I'm gonna get something out of this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some, some of the money's over there, huh? Tell me where the money is! Go! No! <laughs> I bet you the money's over there, huh? We're gonna get you some help. Freeze! He's not one of them! Gun down on the floor. Now! You okay, miss? Yes, he saved our lives! Look, I have a friend waiting for me, and I'm late. What friend? I'll just finish shaving. I'll be on my way. Stay right where you are. How about we see some ID? I don't carry ID. Only cash if I have any. Very funny. You do have a name. John Slade. That sounds like a boy's name. But you look like a girl. You know what I think? I think he's some faggot rock star who blew all his money on drugs. Or prove to me I'm wrong. I'm here for a job. A job? What job? I got an interview with Marks and Industries tomorrow, 9 a.m. Marks and Industries, what are they, open in a beauty parlor? <laughs> What's this job you've been offered? It's classified. Classified? A classified rock star working for Marks and Industries. I find that hard to believe. You know what I think? I think Tarzan here set this whole thing up. <laughs> A girl, huh? Very dangerous girl. Snazzy, huh? One of Markson's toys. Oh, uh, this is Jackie, Markson's daughter. Gotta watch out for this kid. It's been years since he's seen a sharp-looking girl that didn't smell bad. 
Well, you haven't changed a bit. States government will spend three hundred and five billion dollars this year on weapons. Oh, so what are you gonna do about it, Daddy? Lay off it, Jackie. You know, we still got the Russians to worry oh, about. Oh yeah, it's always the Russians. Look, they spend as much money on it as we do. They had it to spend. We force them to spend it just to keep up with us. Jackie, excuse my French, but war is one universal shitstorm. Huh? Glad you came. I hope you understand we don't always behave like this. But today's a special day. I'm having a new weapon demonstrated. My smart egg is an anti-personnel weapon with an artificial intelligence, a brain that can be programmed by using any one of a number of readily available desktop personal computers. Its guidance system contains an intelligence chip capable of highly responsive reactions, a system capable of thinking for itself. Are you sure you want to show off your new toy right here in the open? Yeah. I want him to see the demonstration. Let's do it, shall we? I don't intend for us to invent or develop weapons one day longer, but I do intend for us to make this company useful. See those people living over by the fence? I want you to help them build shelters on this parking lot. We'll begin in our own backyard, and then I'm going to reorganize this company so that we can begin to address what's become in this country an embarrassing, outrageous, chronic housing shortage. 
As of this moment, right now, we're out of the weapons business. Dinner at eight. Are you bringing Bob? We're celebrating Daddy's new life. And yes, I'm bringing Bob. Who's Bob? Uh, bum. Rich bum. I don't like him. His own mouth. Hey, Ron. What? Why'd you ask me to come here? You think Marx is going to just be able to walk away from a multi-million dollar weapons industry? He's going to get bothered by every money-hungry son of a bitch that knows his name. Come on, let me show you the rest of it. Buenas this Pepe. So, a lot of people can want Marx to go on doing his thing, making machines to kill people. And you can help them to understand that he's very serious about this career change. How much money you got? Ten bucks and change. Uh-huh. Looks like I got to you just in time. Markson's coming over tonight for a poker game. I, I get up a game every couple of weeks. Markson's not much of a poker player, but he always has a good time. Uh, watch your head here. This place is built for midgets. It's almost 150 years old. I got it for a song. I've known Markson for 47 years. He was my best friend until you came along. He's got me out of a lot of scrapes here. You know, something about this place makes you want to grow old smiling. Sometimes I think there must be an uh, Indian burial ground here. And way down there someplace, there's a mummified warrior sending his goodbyes up to me. Well, you have changed. Yeah. Well, remember how I used to put down the whiskey? No more. I'm a restaurant owner now. And if you care about food, and I've got to care about food, whiskey dulls your palate. You can't taste anything. So I have a little wine now and then. I'll take a glass of Evian water. With a squeeze of lime in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John. I've completely gone to seed. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I gotta start cooking for the evening crowd. You can stay here as long as you want. I got some new clothes for you. I want to change. I'll see you in the cafe. Hey, Ron. Thanks. What's going on here? Stop fucking around. Where's Willis? He's upstairs with Anna. Huh. 
Is trying to wish me away from his invention. And that little show he put on for you was just that, a little show. Our good friend, Deputy Hanks, had a very pleasant introduction to an old friend of yours this morning. John Slade. Deputy Hanks and his partner try to arrest Slade. He ties him to a post outside a truck stop. That's very messy, Mr. Elias. I mean, if I didn't know better, I'd feel a little paranoid. Now, Ron Morrell is a good army buddy of yours, an old friend of yours, and he calls in another army buddy for help, somebody that you've trained. Now you're going to have to kill Deputy Hanks, and I want you to do it as soon as you can, because I need a trail of crooked cops to get out of this mess. Damn it, I hired you to kidnap Markson and his daughter. It'll be a clean raid tonight. Oh, yeah, that means getting Markson and his daughter out alive, asshole. That's right, you better keep that temper of yours in check. I've been working on this deal for almost a year. And I want to pull it off and disappear rich. And I don't want to have to explain your failures to my superiors at the FBI. You know, they're not going to show you any sympathy. You can kill Slade, can't you? I'll kill Slade. And if you can't do it, I'll kill Slade. Elias, will you stop? Hey, what's your problem? Get ready to fly. I don't want him along tonight. Of art, aren't they? Mm. 
Jackie. Come on over here. You haven't had a chance to talk to my friend John. You left this in the car this morning. Thanks. John is one of the best infiltration men I've ever known. First in the Marines, then in the Army. Oh, so you're a soldier. Not at the moment. I was never a very good soldier. I talked too much. Got me in a lot of trouble. The Viet Cong were going to cut my tongue out. Then they decided to just split it in half. Then I talked twice as much. So there was an Army surgeon. He took him sort of back together. You know, now I talk like this all the time. <laughs> Ron, old buddy, how's it going? It's funny you, my buddy. <laughs> uh, Jackie says you're in a pretty good game of poker. Yeah, well, if you got enough money, it might be a pretty good game. What are you looking at? Bob, be civil. John, this is Bob Evans. <sighs> Jackie, what do we have to hang around with some muscle-headed gorilla for? Bobby, you keep a civil tongue when you're in my cafe or somebody's going to tear you limb from limb and stuff the pieces down your throat. And it might not be me. <laughs> Jackie, come over and you have a chance, okay? okay? Thanks. Always a pleasure, Bob. Sorry. Ron, I'm starved. What's for dinner? Ah, we got something really special for you tonight. Celebrate your father's new career. Well, Daddy's late again, so let's eat. Okay. Check the kitchen out. Okay. Please don't. See you later. All right, listen up. Markson got himself some help. What help? John Slade. Hey, Slade is mean. He went through me and my partner this morning like we weren't even there. Now listen, none of us get paid unless we deliver Markson and his daughter alive. So let's just do it. And don't get sloppy. Max and I will take Hanks with us. Carlos, you stay close. Max and I will grab Markson. Polly, Bob, you get his daughter. Need gun. Thanks. Did you give her a gun? I didn't give her the goddamn gun! You say something? Just stay the fuck in the van. Elias, fuck you! I don't have to take orders from you. You're not my boss, you know. Amigo. What about our friend, Deputy Hanks? Hanks. Take him for a walk. Thank you, Larry. If Ron has any food left, they'll have him send some out. Okay, yeah, you want to get into this game? Got lots of money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here he comes. Daddy, you're so late. I'm sorry, honey. Don't get up. Gentlemen. Is there anything wrong? Nothing that a good poker game won't cure. You miss my food. And it won't warm up either. It's my loss, Ron. Six hundred, six hundred, is it? All right, I'm in. 
300 to you, Bob. I'll call 300. See what you got. <laughs> Aces up eight. Full house. Breed them and weep. Sorry. Four jacks. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice game. You lucky son of a bitch. I want a timeout. <laughs> Okay, I'll hold your stakes for you. Gamers always get good girls, don't they? Hey, Jackie. Excuse me, John. Look, your boyfriend's here and they're eating the furniture. You go back in and quiet him down, or you'll have to bounce him. I'll be there in a minute. Now! You're not in any shape to drive, Mark. That's not what I can talk about. Everybody stay very still. Put your hands on the table now! What is it you want? Dr. Markson, get up and come over to me. Elias led the raid. Elias? He's dead. Apparently not. Ron! In a minute! Elias? Shit.
Over here? Yes, sir. There's one body in the car. And there's a man dead over here, sir. He's one of ours, Deputy Glenn Hanks. How do I know you didn't kill Deputy Hanks? Because I told you I didn't. Listen, buddy. You're not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on. Did it ever occur to you that Hanks knew who killed him? Hell yes. He knew you. The people that killed Markson's driver killed Hanks. Listen, hotshot. You had $4,000 cash in your pocket. Blood money. Right? I saw you this morning. You were shaving in some truck stop bathroom. Broke. You're in this. You're going to tell me how. Look. I don't know why they kidnapped my father. He was working on some new project. And he never really talked about it or anything, but he was he was a little worried. But what are you going to do about it? You know, you're just standing around here asking me these stupid questions when you could be out there doing something. Deputy. I'll take it from here. And who are you? FBI. Special Agent Willis? Who are they? I have no idea. Markson didn't tell you why he asked you to come here? I met Markson today for the first time. Mr. Slade, um, you have a very impressive military record for somebody your age. Army uh, Special Forces. Delta forces in the Middle East, underwater demolition training in Iraq, expelled from El Salvador for uh, counter-revolutionary activities. You've kept very busy. Mr. Slade, Dr. Markson has invented something very deadly. And even though he's destroyed the prototype, the plan is still on his head. I... He's a valuable military property, and it would be dangerous to have him up for sale to an unfriendly power. If you can help us bring Markson back, uh, do you understand? Am I making myself clear? Word for word. You can't charge them with a crime. They're victims. But you know he's involved in this. I don't know that. But we'll be in touch, Miss Markson. I'm sure you'll be hearing from your father's kidnappers. And when you do, let us know. We'll do everything we can to help you. Mr. Slade, don't get involved with this unless you mean to cooperate. Where are my local numbers on the back of my business card? Now you call me if you find out anything relevant. Let me go first, Jackie. Elias and his bunch may be watching your house. Nice and slow. You ready, John? It's okay, come on. father keep anything in the house anything dealing with work papers notes anything yeah oh, hold on. he keeps all his weapons and stuff in here you want to lay some shit down you can really do it with the stuff he's got in there any work papers videos discs or anything would be in the desk
I want to burn this stuff right now. Do it. All he wanted to do was retire. Yes? Come to the Highlander Hotel today, 3 o'clock. What? Who is this? Just listen. There's a swimwear show in the main lobby. Come alone or we'll kill your father. The Highlander Hotel. They want me there alone. If you do go, they're gonna force your father to do whatever they want. And if I don't go, they'll kill him. He's worth more alive. Ron, you know how he is. He would die before he would tell anybody anything. We have to do something. Okay. Um, wear bright clothes, colors, uh, yellow, red, so I can always see you. Now you better go get changed. We've only got a couple hours. Okay. Come here a minute, will you? I want to talk to you. I guess you think I'm crazy for letting her go. It's just a job for them. They're expendable and they know it. They'll kill them both if the deal goes sour. Yeah, but if we don't let her go, we'll never get Marks and back. We gotta get in on their plans. And make sure you get taken along with Jackie. John, Jackie's my daughter. She doesn't even know it. Marks is her legal father. When I got back from Asia, we just decided not to tell her about it. It just seemed to work better all around if I'm her big-hearted, crazy goddamn uncle. Never told me you had a kid. Yeah, well, she is. But I don't want her to know. You've got to know, but not her. I was in that shithole VC prison compound almost five years. Then when I got out, all I did was re-up and then wash out on an undesirable. Then I fucked up some more, acting like some asshole with balls for brains. Never yeah, you're as clean as anybody could be now. Buddy, I was gone south, and you know it. With that shit storm war, Meanwhile, our mother's back here, trying to forget I ever looked, and wondering if I'm dead or alive. Until the war department finally gets around to telling her I am dead. Markson was great. He never let me down. He knew she loved me and not him, but he took care of her. And Jackie, all that time. And then after eight years, I finally come back. Broke, alcoholic, shell shocked, aged, oranged out, fucked up. My best friends are dead. And I'm a piece of shit. I just want to be safe. And him safe. She's my daughter, for Christ's sake. The only one I'll ever have. Well, 
We'll take the truck. I can hide in the back. You be careful. Okay? Okay. Hey, Ron, stay under cover. You know they're going to be looking for you. Cover me up. I'm going to stay here and see who shows up. Then I'll meet you at the hotel. I won't be far behind. It smells like shit under here. Hold your breath. Wait a minute. Park a few blocks away from the hotel. Okay. Not too close. All right. Like in the alley or something. Okay, let's go. The house is empty, but I think I found something. Bring it all back here. But it's all been burned. The uh, videotapes, computer discs, everything. And they left it all out like they knew we'd find it. Then get away from the house. Yeah. Who were you talking to? Willis. FBI. <laughs> uh. watching us? No. Don't look at me. Now, put the keys on the seat and walk away and don't look back. I'll be right behind you. So long, honey. Okay, ladies, five minutes and then 
no more. That's it. You. Which one? Oh. What's the flowers, honey? Hey, who are you? These are yours. Hey, you're not supposed to be. These are yours, honey. You smell good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, hey, you, hey, you, come on. You don't belong in here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's try. Come on, honey. It's just you. Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right. All right. Listen, you know, I'm like the lady. I don't know. Come on. You know, I got a real gun. What? Ladies and gentlemen, the Holiday Inn Highlander is proud to present a summer swimwear spectacular, fashioned from Eugenia at competitive prices. My name is Terry Anderson, and I will be your hostess for today's event. the way I smell? Fertilizer's good, right? Makes the flowers grow. Be a good girl, Jackie. Well, I'm gonna have to stick my gun in you. I heard that. Yeah. You're a prank. Leave it alone, Banner. Listen. You touch her, and I'll tell Elias. He'll give her to me. like shit, man. And this is a private party. Let's go clean you up. Hey, don't be a hard ass, huh? Okay, lighten up. Elias tells me you some bad shit, motherfucker. Elias, uh, look, I had a lot of beginner's luck. Listen, Markson told me a lot about his new toy. I can help you guys. Let me make some money, too, huh? Okay, maybe so. Let's go see what Elias has to say. Okay. says he knows something about Markson's gizmo. Did you hear that? 
Bring Ron with you and bring them both to the staging area. But take your time in traffic. Don't get stopped. Have you seen the plane? Now what's the problem? I just want to make sure I don't stop his heart. What are you talking about? But this drug I'm using maybe could kill him. You kill him and I'll kill you. Some expert. Expert? With the drugs. Well, as you said, this asshole knew his shit. I do. I'm a vet. A vet? Yeah. What, Korea? I'm a veterinarian, a horse doctor. What? This whole deal's coming apart, goddammit! Where the hell is Vanna? Just take it easy, it's gonna be okay. We're almost there. Find these assholes. You promised me professionals, you cheap son of a bitch, and you give me fucking freaks out of the zoo. You know, you are one piece of work, buddy. You and your dipshit girlfriend, Vanna. I guess it's better I told you now. I want you to knock this fucker out and get him ready to fly. Now! Yes, sir.
you're late. What happened? I wanted to go fish. So I stopped and I got one. Just like old times. Take the cuffs off him. Ron here used to be a real pisser. Best all-around soldier the army ever produced. Heard you quit drinking, Ron. Hell, I remember you used to inhale that shit. Max, get him a whiskey. Elias, what are you doing kidnapping people? Shut up! Just shut up! Elias, this is one crazy stunt. Oh, yeah? You don't like my deal? I'm very disappointed. Agent Willis, what a surprise. Mr. Morrell, how can you help us with Dr. Markson? Where's Slade? You got me. You lost him. Elias, who said you could work this deal off? Vanna. You're just a putz. You can't do nothing. Carlos. you know and I might not kill you no. Ron you come with me let's talk it's only take a minute Flight plan details arranged, no hitches? No hitches. Paperwork's done? Tell me the paperwork's done. It's done. You just get him to the airport, I'll take care of everything else. Carlos, you go with Willis. You do not have to kill Vanna. I'll be with you in a minute. Well, 
So what is it you want to say to me, Ronald? Oh, boy, all of a lot. Take marks. They're flying marks. And his daughter out of the country today. The FBI guy took care of the State Department details. Oh, they got a flight pattern filed and everything. They're gonna sell them to the highest foreign bidder. Oh. You better not be lying because you're coming with me. Where'd they take them? Where are they flying out of, huh? Clover Grove Field. I swear. That's it. They're coming with ah.
What did your old buddy Markson tell you, Ron? Let me think a minute. Uh... Oh! <clears throat> what did you do with Markson and the girl? Tell me that. You got guts, don't you? I bet you like getting the shit beat out of you. Take it, Markson, to Clover Grove Field. I know where it is. Listen, John, if we get too close to them, they're going to recognize this car. They might. What are you looking for? Another car. Thanks. None of the cows. Come back 
There's ten cars. It's right over there. Right, car. What oh, a whole lot better than this piece of shit. Come back! Hey! My car! Yeah, police? I want to report a stolen car. Yeah, yeah these guys just took it out of my front yard. Blonde, uh, 30, uh, tall. Oldsmobile, 83. Duck down. The guys had, uh, what, rifles, uh, knives, handguns, grenades. It's just like out of a Rambo movie, I'm telling you. Take it easy. Easy does it. Nobody overreacts. See what they want first. Report the car stolen. We've uh, tracked it here to the airport, sir. Stolen car! Get it out of there! Yes, sir. going on you think Willis is setting us up he is one crazy SOB hey yeah yeah, yeah? yeah? agent Willis yeah yeah FBI oh agent Willis FBI yeah, yeah I talked to you on the radio what the hell you gotta do to file a flight plan around here well I could do that paperwork for you well come on let's do it come on it's in my office. I've already been to your office. No, I was out here working on my airplane. I don't care where you were. Okay, working. let's, let's take a shortcut to the office. Back through here. Follow me, sir. What the hell is 
going on out there? Where have you been? Somebody stole the car and ditched it here. Here? Yeah, here. Here's our flight plan paperwork. It's all there. It's got State Department clearance. Go on and check. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, go on, come on. It's all in order. Hey, guys, I ain't got no weapons. I'm clean. I have no arms. be okay.
What about Ron? <laughs> oh, shit! What the hell did you do to Willis? Well, he gave it his best shot. Shattered kneecap, I guess. You gonna be okay? Yeah, but my bad knee is not my good knee. You wanna compare wounds? Well, you always were bulletproof. Be all right. Daddy's going to be okay. 